Hello and welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles. The last time, we faced off with Metal Face, who turned off to be to, turned out to be Mumkar. And today, we're going to continue chasing after Fiora because she flew back in the direction of Galahad Fortress, according to Alvis. So, uh, yeah, we had, had a brief time here in Valak Mountain. I didn't, you know, there's not a whole lot to do, um, unless you're a completionist, in which case there's a ton to do, but nothing that I really find necessary, so... I guess with that being said, uh, let's head through this tunnel. We discover the Bionis Wrist. And we'll go through here eventually. There you go. We discovered the Bionis Thumb, and uh, Melia learned a new art, so I actually kind of quickly want to look at that before we continue. Alright, she maxed out her first skill tree, so I will... Um, let's start off reliability. There you go. Greatly increases ether. All right, that'll be useful for her. But, uh, yeah, it kind of weirdly transitions from snow to desert, but I want to, uh, actually check out... No, that's not what I want to do. I want to check out the Collectopedia for Valak Mountain. Not bad, actually. Wow. Finished quite a few categories. Not every category, but... It's something. We got heavy boots. Can I get like an agility gem or something? Chill defense. Eh, it's not too useful now. And I didn't finish any other categories. Womp. Womp. <clears throat> oh, God. Okay. So, um, I missed six items. Damn. <sniffs> Alright. Well, here, uh, actually, I don't want to show that. Alright, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay. Let's pick up this item orb. And we'll see what's up ahead. Sword of the Mekonis. The entire valley below. The whole thing is its sword. Something seems unnatural. What do you mean? Look, that flowing light. From the way it glows, it has to be ether. But it looks like it's being drawn in by something. By the fortress. It should just be up ahead. Father once told me that the Mekonis absorbs the ether of the Bionis and uses it for sustenance. So the Mekonis feeds off ether? Then undoubtedly the ether serves as the Mekon's energy source as well. Oh, that dialogue out of the way. Uh, yeah, there's not really a whole lot to say. We're coming up to Sword Valley. And, uh... Yeah, like I said, Valak Mountain, uh, I guess for our purposes, because I'm not insane and, you know, I'm not going to do everything in this entire game, but um, in case I need to go back there for whatever reason, I guess I'll show that because fe I feel like it was kind of neglected. But with that being said, I think I already said that, <laughs> let's step forth. And we discover Sword Valley. It looks so big. Even from this distance. The fortress must be enormous. Galahad Fortress. The frontline base of the Mekon. The Mekon that attack Bionis must all come from here. Then, there's a high probability that he's there. The golden Mekon that took Fiora. We're about to enter the Mekon stronghold. If there's anyone who wants to turn back now... Shulk, friend should no split up. No leave friend behind. Ricky's scared, but Ricky won't go too. Ricky. He's right. Okay, let's go. Yes. Okay, so now that we're in Sword Valley, we can kind of see what's up ahead of us. This, this area is pretty cool. Uh, it's very uh, unlike any place we've been to. I think I already talked about that with 
Aerith Sea or the uh, Alchemoth Tomb or something, I don't, or the High Antia Tomb rather, but let's go ahead again. What's that? A supply convoy. It would be most unwise to proceed without restocking our supplies. You arranged this for us. Hey, it's... Dixon! Looks like you lot have been having fun without me. Heard you took care of that faced Mekon. What are you doing here? I got wind of some allied force coming together a few days back. I stepped up as the representative of the Homs. Then a little birdie told me you lot were heading for Galahad Fortress. So I thought I'd drop by and say hello. I've got a whole stack of new equipment. Want some? Yeah! I was hoping for some new stuff. Hold it, Ryan. You know it's gonna cost you. You cheap old man. Well, I guess we gotta buy items from this guy, not even Dixon, this dude. So let's take a look at what we got here. Uh, we have art books. Ooh. Okay. I am okay with these, actually. Um, Alright, so let's get, start, get anything started. There are a million anti mech on weapons. And let me take a look. Yeah, I'm not going to buy one for Dunban, and I'm probably not going to buy one for Melia either. And obviously Shulk doesn't need one. So I'm going to get one for... Oh god, that drops his stats quite a bit. Mm. We might as well though. It'll probably be it'll probably come in handy. And then one for Sharla, and then oh dear lord, maybe I shouldn't have bought one for Sharla. And oh god, Ricky, I'm sorry. I can't. <laughs> this is oh my god. This stuff is expensive. Okay, I really want to prioritize some of these art books though, like Soaring Tempest and Mind Blast. And yeah, I guess that should be good. Damn, though, this stuff is expensive. Luckily, it's already stuff that we kind of had. Um, I'm going to go and sell some stuff that I don't need real quick. All right, back up to 235,000 gold. I don't really think there's much else I want to buy. Uh, yeah, that should be fine. Um, yeah, so let me just quickly equip my dudes real quick. All right, so let's talk to you. Mechanus crystals look different from Bionis ones. Did you know? The one next to me is like what you will find on Mechanus. It might be because the ether flow there is different. So, we will now be encountering ether crystal deposits that look like this instead of just big crystals in the ground. But, um, let's talk to Dixon. If you're all ready, let me know what you've been up to. Looks like you've been through a lot. Tell me about it. Let's talk to him. Fiora? You mean Dumban's sister? Yes. So that's why you're all looking so down. I can't believe they're sticking homs into those faced mechon. Looks like they weren't just eating us. They made Mumkar into one. He was the one who attacked Colony 9. Oh, and there was me thinking he snuffed it in that battle. Aren't you surprised? Did he attack Colony 9? I don't know what drives those mech on. I've given up trying to figure them out. It don't surprise me one bit. <laughs> Still, Munker as well, eh? Things are getting interesting. Sorry? Oh, nothing. It is time for us to return. I would like to continue providing assistance, but my help is required in assembling Homs for the Allied Force. There are also my duties as Seer to consider. Then I'll be off too. You lot should be alright getting Fiora back. In the meantime, we'll be getting ready for battle. Thanks for coming this far. We'll be fine. We can handle ourselves. Galahad Fortress is a key position for the Mekon. You can't just rush in, all guns blazing. Agreed. We will infiltrate via the Aether Inlets. If I'm right and the Mekon do feed off Aether, then we're sure to find some form of influx channel. Our objective is to reach one of those channels. Don't go dying on me, Shulk. I won't. You take care as well. 
Cheers. Looks like it's just us. Right. We head for the hilt of the sword. Galahad Fortress. Okay. One year on. Now, at last, we will seize our destiny. Isn't that right, Shulk? So another has appeared with the ability to wield the Monado. But why would Zanza release the Monado? He surely knows it would become a double-edged sword. Yet he relinquishes it to that mere child. And the face escaped my control and acted alone. Now that the Monado has been free, it appears the usefulness of the faces has come to an end. Although, perhaps there are still things to be learnt from having them challenge the boy. Alright, so now that we won't be interrupted by any more cutscenes, let's get this party So, Oh wow, that either crystal deposit actually uh, refilled, so I'll just grab that again. Ah, uh, there you go. Oh no, there's three this time. There you go. Okay. So, kicking things off. Um, there's actually stuff up there that we can walk on, but I don't know what's really up there. Um, what else? What else? There's, there's not really a whole lot to talk about at the moment, but hopefully we'll be getting into some battles and, like, things won't be so boring. So, let's just grab all these item orbs. Uh, now the reason I cut out um, that one thing before when I back went back into the collectopedia is just because I really didn't want to show that it was Sword Valley, which I mean I don't know why I didn't want to, but I, I, I guess in case you didn't pick up on where we were going, I didn't want to spoil anything for you. But uh, yeah, that's that. Um, so we need to fight a bunch of monsters here, not because of quests or anything, but just simply because of experience. Um, I want to be at a specific level before we actually, um, before we get to a certain point. So, for some reason there's no monsters out here. What if I, like, let's just make it daytime or something. Because I swear there'd be enemies here by now. We discovered Ged Fortress and Dunban learned a new skill. So let's look at that. We got that. Okay. Uh, Imbalable strength when HP is at max. Alright. Not too shabby. Um... So, we discovered Ged Fortress. I don't really know what's here. See, um, I haven't actually seen this place in a while. Like, I haven't been here. Um, so, I, my, my memory of this place is a little foggy. There's a thing over there with an ether crystal deposit, so let's go check that out. Hopefully there will be enemies in there. I'm pretty sure there are, right? Okay, good. I was starting to get worried that there weren't monsters for some reason. Anyway, let's just get this fight started. Um, I probably want to switch to another character soon just so I'm not always playing his Dunban so like my commentary doesn't get stale or anything I just want to grab all the aggro there you go all right that should make life a whole bunch easier uh, okay now Shulk has the aggro on a few things I don't know what there you go wow Buster did a ton of damage there Jesus I don't have the aggro on anything um I want to change that I think uh, let's see if I can just get your attention there you go all right, now I should have the aggro on, every, on everything, except for that, and a couple other things. Okay, I need Soaring Tempest back up, that'd be good. Uh, I'm just going to start spamming arts, just so I can get the aggro going. Um, eh, there you go. Uh, then, okay, that one that died. Uh, let's see if I can topple you. Can I, I couldn't use Gale Slash, that was weird. Okay, let's topple you. 
Um, gonna get a vision, probably an ether art. Yeah, I had a feeling. Uh, I want to grab that dude's attention. Oh, it's only 300 damage. I don't really care. <laughs> Melly can take it. <laughs> she's a she's stronger than that, I think. Um, can we just kill this thing? Jesus, I need my arts back up. Okay. Uh, let's just use a chain attack. I guess why not? Soaring Tempest, like that. And then Melia can just use the Wind, which really isn't that strong, but what are you gonna do? Then Backslash, there you go. Alright, so I think I'm going to switch to Melia. Um, yeah, I'm going to switch to Melia now. I think I'm gonna stick with this party, because this is like basically the best party you can have at the moment. Uh, so I don't really want to switch to anything else. Uh, I probably will just for variety's sake and for affinity's sake as well, but for the time being, I'll just keep this party. Got electric ether gear. Um, I'm hoping I can find some wind ether just so I can make some more agility gems, because Dunban doesn't have very good gems right now. Honestly, no one really has any good gems except for, like, Melia, so I probably want to fix that in the near future. But uh, this place is gigantic. There's a ton of things to see and explore. Um, if we look out here, discover the sixth gate, um, okay, we're right on top of it. There's these giant gates, hence sixth gate, I'm stupid, um, that we need to open. Oh, actually, I guess we don't need to open them, but I guess it would be convenient, uh, to do so. Uh, but we need to find switches that activate the button to activate them, like, to, uh, to, uh, open the doors. So, or open the gates, rather, to, uh, stay consistent with what I was saying. So, finding those would be wise. Uh, if I can't find them, then whatever. It's really not that big a deal. We'll just discover a landmark further ahead and then, you know, just be able to skip travel to that instead of walking all the way through. But, there's... Sh over here, I think. Yes, okay, here's another place we can go into. There's an ether crystal deposit. So, let's head on in here. Um, there's an item orb. Expected there to be monsters here, but I guess not. Uh, there probably will be up ahead. Uh, where is this ether crystal? Oh, wow, it's behind. Way to cock tease me, game. Ugh, whatever, at least you got item orbs out of it. Whatever. Two juicy melons, great. Oh, no, never mind. I had a bitter melon. Man, there's a lot of melons here for some reason. Um, let's walk out here and discover the fifth gate. Melia learned a new skill. Uh, she got to that, which increases ether. I thought it increased agility, but I was just on the wrong thing. Uh, there's an off offensive mech on plus that I want to fight. So let's grab this item orb and then hopefully be able to use dis discharge from here. Uh, actually, I don't know if I'll be able to. Uh, there you go. Womp. Now summon a copy. Actually, uh, that probably isn't the best idea. Um, let's use summon earth. So we can, uh, get physical protect. Um, alright. There you go. Let's just use summon bolt and then another summon bolt just to kill it because now I won't take the aggro from sp spamming it and there you go uh, yeah I'm going to try and be a bit more reserved when I play Melia just so I don't um, constantly take the aggro and that's honestly what I should do with Shulk too but I've been meaning to try and make uh, art stealth gems I just can't I, I'm, I'm pretty sure they're made from ice ether crystals which I don't think I have any of I'm um, at least at like rank three, which is what I've you know that's the max level ether crystal we've been finding lately. So I don't know. Uh, there's a bunch of enemies down here, so I do want to fight them. Uh, I'm really going to be adamant about experience in this area because actually, I'm not even gonna say why, but you will completely understand. Well, you'll completely understand why when the time comes. So uh, let's use. Summon Flare. I, I, I like how I'm saying I'm going to be um, reserved and I just start spamming arts again. <laughs> I probably shouldn't do that. Um, I actually want to give an agility buff as opposed to a physical defense buff. As long as Dunban's in the party. Uh, let's discharge one of those. Now let's discharge the other one because Shulk has the aggro anyway. And there you go. Yeah, Buster is considerably strong. Because it's a pretty high level. Um, there's another offensive mech on plus. So I will use summon wind to give an agility up. 
and I might as well just discharge it because I don't think I'll get the aggro from that. No, good. Uh, then I can just use some bolt and then copy it. Uh, man, really? Shulk has the aggro? Whatever. Yeah. There you go. Man, Mel Melia is really strong once you get, like, gems, really good gems on her and, uh, leveling up her arts, because freaking... Those rupee glasses we got from the high anti tomb are insane. They're so good. I love them. And when she goes into burst mode, it's just... It's ungodly how strong she can get. Um, I want... Okay, I, I had the aggro for a while, but now I don't. And now that this guy's toppled, I'll just start spamming crap on him. Do, like, 10,000 damage with, uh... Some of Bolt. Gosh, she's so strong when she uses that in, bur in burst mode. It's insane. Uh, please, Kel. Thank you. Uh, I was going to use uh, burst end, but I'm not in uh, burst mode anymore, so whatever. Got that thing down. Shulk's almost level 48. Uh, Brave top. We already have like a million of those. I'm going to just start cutting out these fights now. I just It's probably starting to get a little boring, so I'll just cut them out. So Dunban... Uh, hit level 48 and he learned Jaws of Death. Aura that recovers HP just before incapacitation. Eh. Yeah, I'm a little iffy about that. But uh, before uh, I cut, actually after I cut that, um, we discovered Dolgan Outpost, which I do actually want to go up to. Um, and Shulk actually leveled up from discovering that. Uh, there's a million more enemies here, so I'll just take these out real quick. Okay, well I went a little too far and discovered Secure Dolgan Outpost. We need to defeat Prudent Person. At Dolgan, at Dolgan Outpost, and it is probably in our best interest to do that, so we'll get started with that in a second. Alright, so on my first playthrough uh, of this game, this was very difficult. Um, I think it should be a bit easier for me now because I'm not, like, super under level. Uh, so let's get started with this android unit. Uh, shouldn't really be too much trouble, it's only one guy, so... Uh, I think I'm going to be a little more, a little less uh, frugal with my... Hard, so I'm just gonna start spamming crap at him. There you go. Got a topple. Hopefully he can get a daze too so he can stay down for longer. There you go. Alright. Not too much of a challenge here. Let's just use summon flare and then get a damage over time. And he's down. Easy enough. And I want to clear out every mech on in this area because Prudent Person is a unique monster in case you couldn't tell. And the thing is with him is once you start fighting him, he kind of summons a million of his cronies to help him out. So, meaning, well, cronies as in dudes from here. Like, so, it's better if you just kill everything in the fortress so you don't have to uh, deal with it later. So, let's finish you off. Melia leveled up. Uh, probably no new arts, didn't think so. And, uh, let's take out these dudes real quick. Man, this could be harder than I thought. I actually died before, so I had to clear out the fortress again. But uh, let's use this gate lock release. And now, be, now we'll be able to unlock that gate. I don't know which gate that is, but I guess it's the one right in front of this place. So let's head up here. And if I remember correctly, there should be a sound type mech on that's kind of patrolling the area. Uh, I just want to make absolute sure. There it is. So what I want to do... Oh, there's a Wind Ether deposit there, too. Let's just kind of grab his attention and sort of run down here. So uh, as long as we do that, he won't alert the other mech on. That's why, that's why we're kind of going out of our way to take this dude out. Because um, usually sound types will alert, like, the actual monsters. So, whoa, can I have the aggro, please? Thanks, dude. Okay. Let's try this again. Okay, I almost got this thing down. Usually sound types are pretty weak, so don't really need to worry too much about that. Now, I think... How many enemies are there? Is it just three? Okay. It was... Oh, God, that guy's level 49. What I want to do, actually, is maybe just take out one mon take out one of them, leave, and, like, lose the aggro completely to end the fight, and then take out the other one, and then do that again, and then just have a uh, prudent person by himself. So I think I'm going to do that. Uh, so let's just make absolutely sure we only go for this guy. Whoa, okay, this they're really weak. Um, okay, so maybe this will be a little easier than I thought to use Wars- uh, not Warsling, Jesus Christ, I always get those confused. Soaring Tempest. And now let's focus on this guy if we can, thank you. Alright, um, almost got him down. Okay, so I just want to kill him and then run. 
That is the best course of action, I think. Alright, let's get this party started. So, starting things off, I want to see if I can get a topple? Oh, cool, we can actually topple him. That's useful. Uh, hopefully... Okay, why does Shulk... Why does Shulk say I never want to use... Okay, now he uses Shaker Edge after he gets up. Really, Shulk? <sighs> Damn it, Shulk. Whatever. Let's use Worldly Slash this time so he can get his... Uh, his defense down a little. And also use Serene Heart just so uh, I can dodge attacks a bit more. That is a talent art, and I'm really hoping that Shulk has his talent gauge up so he can use shield. Uh, okay, here we go. Let's just lock on. Okay, okay he, no, shoot! Ugh, I have to waste a freaking party gauge so I can tell Shulk to use shield. <sighs> Whatever. Let's get not another topple because he resisted break that time for some reason. Um, let's see his Blossom Dance, actually. Let's just get some damage off. And I lost the aggro. That's really not good. I expected... Okay, there you go. Like, I was gonna say, I expected Blossom Dance to keep the aggro off anything. Alright, this is going pretty well so far. Uh, we are almost... Okay, so we're on the third block of the party gauge now, so we're getting pretty close to a chain attack. Uh, as soon as Gale Slash is back up, I can use... Uh... Yeah, I'll use Electric Gut Buster and then Seal Strike Topple him. Now we have a chain attack going. Uh, so, let's use Soaring Tempest. And then Discharge. And then Slit Edge, I guess, because he's on the side. And we should be good here. Just like a basic attack. Why do I keep calling it a basic attack? Damn it. Auto attack. And there he goes. Secure Dolgan Outpost. We get an Ordian Cap, which I think is heavy armor? Yeah. Uh, so yeah, cool. Dunban leveled up from that. Um, you know, he still has those, uh, those XP up gems, so I think I'm going to, uh, ooh. Ooh, I like that, actually. Those are pretty cool. Uh, so I think I'm going to take those off and put them on, like, M Melia or something, because, actually, no, screw it. I'm just gonna, one, one second. God, I'm pretty, I'm getting pretty desperate for agility. I have agility up one gems on him. Yeah, uh, let's switch up the party now. Let's put Shulk in, uh, in the lead. Uh, let's get rid of Dumbane. We've been using him way too much. Let's put in Ryan. Yeah, there you go. That should work. That should work just fine. <laughs> let's grab this Wind Ether on top of that. That'll be useful. Uh, oh, wow, my inventory's full. Really? Okay, let me clear that out. All right, now we can mine the rest of this. So, let's head out of here. And we can actually go back outside and open up that gate. And I don't want to go that way because there are enemies there. And I don't feel like fighting them in all honesty. And, you know what? I changed my mind. I do want to fight them. Um, yeah, so I'll fight these dudes really quickly. So we discover the fourth gate. And let's run up to this switch that we activated earlier. And let's press it. Uh, let's... Oh, okay. I guess there's no cutscene for it. That opens up this gate. And next time on Xenoblade Chronicles, we are going to continue our trek through Sword Valley. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.